let go, let go, let it back, let it go. Hello, 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 look at me. I've been fresh. I've been walking with my savior. Yes, I'm trying to do my best. Yes, I'm just a bag of bones trying to shake up by the flesh. When you see me, never stress. When you see me, see me, see me, you say. For 10 years, you've proven to be the greatest asset I could ever invest in. For the Naya, we've been tested in our communication and have been seeking to understand. I believe in Yvette. I always watch your videos on a weekly basis. I'm 23 years old and love learning about parenting. In watching your most recent video, I felt like I could relate so deeply to Anaya. Three other siblings who are boys and I am the only girl, falling second in line. I remember being young and just straight up feeling outnumbered. I am not an angry person, but I always had this fire within me. Growing up with boys had pros and cons like anything. However, I will say that at times it felt overwhelming and I often felt misunderstood. I always desired to have a sister because I thought I would be fulfilled if someone my age could relate or simply just play gently with me. Boys are crazy, lol. They always want to wrestle or play some crazy physically torturous <laughs> pretend game that I was only down for probably 17% of the time. What I can tell you is that I am now incredibly grateful for being the only girl. I never felt like I had to compete with a sister for alone time with my mom. It was just a given. But I will say it was evident in my temper or overreactions if I was lacking girl bonding time with my mom. I needed that often. It recharged me and allowed me to step into my identity that the Lord has created me to be. Oh, you're about to break I think apart. I'm about to fall apart. But I thought I would let the both of you know that there is a lot of hope for her to continue to, to grow. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. As a little girl, my mom used to sew my clothes. I remember at a young age cutting out patterns and helping her pin them to the material. And just being nearby as she did her thing on the sewing machine. I remember always wanting to be nearby my mom. My relationship with her is why I insisted on having a daughter. Lately, navigating the emotions and behavior of Anaya has me questioning that desire. Am I allowed to say that? I think the reason this email hit me so hard is that it's both convicting and convincing. I am convicted because I know I have been distracted. However, I'm convinced that this too shall pass and Anaya will be just fine. So for the time being, when I hear her little voice say to me, mom, I want love, I will do just that. I will stop, look, listen, and be present with my baby girl. Because I remember wanting just that with my mom, to exist in her presence. Basically, I got what I asked for. <laughs> As we navigate through the season of her strong emotions and behavior, I rest in knowing that God chose my womb to knit together her inmost being and that she is fearfully and wonderfully made. He is faithful to complete the work he has begun in her, and Glenn and I will always seek to understand and know how to love her as God has called us to. Anaya, yeah. come here. I have something I need your help with. Okay, so mommy picked out this fabric a long time ago for us to make head wraps. Do you want to help me sew a head wrap? Yeah? Do you like this material? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so you're going to help me cut it, okay? I will get scissors. You know what? I already got scissors. Go ahead, bless the record with a needle, yo. Achieve, achieve, yo. Achieve, achieve, yo. Go ahead, bless the record with a needle, yo. Achieve, achieve, yo. Achieve, achieve, yo. To all the fathers that be loving on their daughters. The girl dads who taught us. Thought all I needed was sowing a seed. It turns out needle and thread is all that she need. Needed my Mona Lisa to lead. I'm in a whole nother league. Uh, I switch gears and go to another speed. Uh, hallelujah. You're giving praise to the Father God Only reconciliation ain't a reason to even be getting odd Told my daughter she's a star Twinkle, twinkle, little If we sell a sink the riddle It's the wrinkle in the middle Oh, just taste and see the sweetness like a Skittle I said I'm taking off, taking off like a missile I feel like an apostle who just pinned an epistle That I hit you with the joy of the Lord Like a pistol full of tickles Little bit I'm learning about manhood from my daughter Man, it's all I got to offer, yo Shout out to good fathers for real that's all I got to offer, man. Shout out to good fathers for real. Who 
Look what you did. Now, the material, look. It like, it's open. Is that it? It's sewn. Okay, but we have to do it again, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. to reach our hand all the way down in there so I want you to reach your hand all the way down all the way down all the way down oh uh, way down. oh my goodness all the way down all the way down all the way down all the way down now grab this grab it with your hand grab it really tight ready and ooh, pull your arm out 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 oh, oh pull it pull it pull it keep pulling I think we should go find an outfit to I, match. I got an outfit. You like your outfit? No. Oh yeah. I think Ooh. But look, the color is in the head wrap. I think we put on this jacket and we roll up the sleeves. We have the hair wrap, right? Yeah. Ooh, or these cute little shorts. That is mine. We just have to find a top to pull it all together. Are you with me on this? Are you excited? And I got a surprise for you. What? Some cute earrings. But I think it's going to pull this all together. Yeah. Come on, let's close yeah. the door. Go close the door. Go close the door. sure it's even then we tie the knot it's a it's what so can you sit on your bed and wait for me while I go pick out your earrings don't look at yourself yet okay please stay here please please stay here we have to complete the outfit. I don't want you to see yourself, okay? Wait. Okay. I have two pairs of earrings that I think could really help this outfit. Okay. I'm gonna let you choose. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put them on. You think you can do it? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? What? Okay, I can't. can't. Okay. <laughs> let me help you. Never worn earrings like that before, huh? Mm -hmm. These are your first dangly earrings. Mm -hmm. Go, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like your head wrap? You like the earrings? They're so cute. Oh wait, what? Isn't it beautiful? She even has 
brand new earrings. Yes. Does she look cute? Yeah. Yay! Good job, guys. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think it looks beautiful. Does it feel good to move your own head up? Yeah. So cool. So cool. I should make one for myself, huh? I'm learning a lot this season. For instance, there's nothing like the connection between a mother and daughter. I understand that. I'm watching Yvette and I'm being educated on how I can do better with Anaya. For instance, instead of standing up while talking to her, I can get down to her level more. Maybe being eye to eye with her will help her see that though I am an authority, she's also very valuable. Going from three to four kids has been very challenging for me. I think one of Anaya's love languages is quality time. She wants to be included in things. And me, I'm just trying to get things done. So I feel like I need to slow down more. But life isn't slowing down at all. Uzi is growing up fast and he actually prefers me over his mom. I don't know why that is, but it reminds me of the days when it was just me and the other life. Except I don't have that much time. And I know I'm not gonna be a perfect father, right? But I analyze it because I feel like we have to raise the standard of people we interact with. Look, if family is foundation, then to me, Fatherhood is most essential. This is my journey to becoming a good father. And these are my teachers. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Belief. You're here in my home office. This is where I get most of my work done. You've been watching the good father season, all right? Um, and Anaya has been teaching me so much about being a father, being a man. And, and one of the things that's super interesting is that like, it doesn't have to be me in the forefront leading. Like my wife can lead that relationship because she connects with Anaya better right now. Um, and I'm learning that, you know, and, and each kid is blossoming so well as much as I'm paying attention. So Uzi's next. We still got his baby dedication to do, his haircut, his first haircut. But I'm like uh, looking forward to like seeing the growth not only in my children, but also in me. Like being a father changes so much about you and you just never know until you really give it your all, right? Um, you guys have been rocking the heck out of the love collection. You guys, <laughs> you love the love collection and love looks good on you, right? October 15th, we are dropping the Father's Collection, which is a, a clothing line of sorts um, to celebrate the five-year anniversary of Belief in Fatherhood, right? Which is October 19th. Uh, but it's coming up soon. Mark your calendars, October 15th at 6 p.m. Um, it's happening. Uh, but right now, I got to get back to work, right, and be a dad. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Protect your life. Keep your network popping. If you're fortunate enough to be doing life with someone else, make sure you watch this video with them. And if they're not around, share it with them. See y'all next time. Peace. What? Come on, man. Babe, can you take him? If I had a million dollars, I would mind my business And tell the people hello, somebody gonna get a witness It seems like everybody's on somebody else's mission Until they get my vision, I just love them from a distance I don't keep people around cause they in your circle If they don't add to your center, then that can really hurt you I spend a lot of time chasing people who fly high But let's be honest, the inner circle's the bullseye